Hello fellow Pokemon trainers and Nintendo fans, Prince Charmander here and we're back for episode 3 of New Pokemon Snap. Last episode we uh, took a second trip through Florio Park during the day so we could get our research level up. That way we could investigate it at night where we saw some pretty cool and cute Pokemon. And now it's time for us to go back and investigate the Illumina Pokemon that might be there. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in. Uh, let's see, let's go to the Illumina spot in the nature park. You might find an Illumina Pokemon there. All right, so, oh, Illumina, oh, wow. So that's a sp specific thing. I thought it was gonna be like during the, uh, during the route. Oh, interesting. Is it gonna be like a boss battle? Definitely where the reading was coming from. Do you see or hear anything? What? I'm pretty sure we saw this in the trailer. Is it the Meganium? Oh, it is! Ooh, screenshot! <laughs> I want to touch it. That Meganium's the Illumina Pokemon! Quick, get its picture! <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I'm here to do, huh? <laughs> oh, uh, where can I scan? Where can I scan? There's something I could see. Oh, that's a good photo. Look how happy it looks. Okay. Yeah, so this is just like a specific... It's only Meganium on this route. That's cool. See, like, this is how big I thought Meganium... I, I would think Meganium would be in, like, real life. But it's not. Oh, so this one controls the... Boom. Oh, so it's sniffing it, and then it's got... There we go. Ooh, can I scan anything else? I think it just scans the scan... Like, when I put up the scanner, it just tells me where the Meganium is, or where the Illumina Pokemon is. So this one moves the whole frame, and then this one moves the pointer. I just realized that right now. Look back at me. No, dang it. That was a good one. Oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah, that's cool. Picture, picture. <laughs> so, the Illumina Pokemon are on specific routes. The gi the giants. or the, I don't know if they're all giant. Because that Meganium was huge. We've got a lot to discuss, but first, let's get your photos evaluated. Oh, which one do I pick? Okay, so... Oh, those ones don't count? You cannot select photos in which the Illumina phenomena isn't shown. Oh, what the heck? Oh, so only when it's, uh, when it's got, like, the glowing stuff on it, like that. Um. Um, oh, shoot. Okay, so which one do we pick? Two stars. There's no three st There's no three stars. <gasps> oh, those are three star photos, but we can't pick those. And these are one star. These are two star. Okay. So let's see. Um, I think, dang, I think that one's the best one. We'll go with that one. The Illumina spot at night. Now let's see what we've got. A new discovery. 
Meganium. Okay, look at that pose. Ooh. Size, direction, placement, other Pokemon, background. Wow. Nice placement. Okay, good. I picked the right choice. <laughs> so. Nice. Research level. How much did we get? Oh, I get it. So the score that you get is what the experience is. Got it, got it, got it. Look at that. You've had a new stage in your research. Keep an eye out for changes no matter how small. So what do we get? Woo! thousand points or more. There's Gentle Wonder. Research title. Uh, got a filter. Oh, cell shaded. Oh, that's cool. By the way, now that we've got that Illumina Pokemon info, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. Okay. So we'll save that awesome uh, sniffing shot. There we go. Save. Back. Back. And let's find out what he has to say. Are we going to get the fruit that we can throw? Can we throw something, please, so we can get better photos? That's all I want. So we have... What starter Pokemon do we have? We have Grookey, Scorbunny. I know Sobble's in here, too. Yes, you're back. That was amazing, right? Wasn't it gorgeous? Wasn't it huge? And was it saying something? Wait, what? Easy there, Rita. Take a deep breath. Look who's talking. You were practically dancing, Professor. <laughs> Moving on. There's no doubt about it. That Meganium was an Illumina Pokemon, just like in the Legends. Remind me what the Legends say about Illumina Pokemon again, Professor. Didn't they supposedly save Lento from a huge disaster a long time ago or something? Mm -hmm. So the story goes, yes. Also. Illumina Pokemon were also said to have distinctive patterns and a glow with unusual light. Oh, that's why we needed to show the, f the patterns. Sounds like our new friend. Yes, to the letter. I'm convinced the events in those legends really did happen. And discovering the true history of this region could be the key that opens up all our research. Hang on, wasn't there one more important thing you were going to mention, Professor? That's alright. It's pretty late. Let's pick up the conversation from here tomorrow. What? But I want to know. Give me the fruit. I want to throw stuff. Oh, that was fast. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Did you manage to get some sleep? No. Now, as Rita already told you, I've been preparing to launch an ecological survey spanning the entire Lentil region. And no sooner had you arrived than we suddenly found an Illumina Pokemon. You think there's a connection, Professor? I can't be sure yet. But fascinating things are bound to happen if you come with us. Really? really? Well, you know, maybe. For a scientist, you, you sure can be vague sometimes, Professor. Still, I think it's a good idea. It'll be way more fun with you along. Well, there you have it. Ready to officially join our research team? Absolutely. I thought I already was a part of it, but whatever. Excellent. Well then, let's make it official. With a team badge. Ooh! Nice. I want one. They'll probably have one up at the Pokemon Center in a few months. Yep. It's like you were born to wear it. Well, what are we waiting for? Adventure awaits. Not to rain on your parade, P Rita. I almost said Peta. <laughs> not, not to rain on your parade, Rita. But I need to get a couple more things ready first. Oh, come on. Just a little bit longer, all right? I promise it'll be worth the wait. I'll explain next time you're headed out to do some research. So, pretty much like right now. Ooh, we got a box. What do we get? You got a sticker, team badge. All right. Uh, you got a profile icon. Cool. Uh, what happens if we go to the lab? Let's go to the lab. I haven't gone to the lab before. Hey, it's Rita. Here. This is the professor's lab. Not that it's your first time here, of course. This is where the professor does his research and works on mechanical stuff. In fact, he pretty much lives here. Anyway, let me give you a quick rundown of what you can do here. That server over there is where we store our research work. There are a few things you can do with all that data. First, you can check your photo decks. 
Oh, cool. That's the encyclopedic record you're building with the photos you're taking. Isn't it cool getting to put together your very own photo decks? Next, there's your space. That's where you can see your personal photo album and adventure milestones. By the way. Your album is for your photos you want to keep, but not put in your photo decks. You can edit your album photos in some cool ways, too. Hmm, am I forgetting anything? Professor. Hey, Professor. Was there anything else I was supposed to mention? Also. Did you cover what we can do on the internet? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was it. If you use the online internet feature, you can see photos from players all around the world. If you really like a photo, you can tell the photographer nice job by giving the photo a little digital medal. <laughs> They're called sweet medals. Give all you want. People love getting them. That's right. You can also see other pho uh, photographers' rankings in each score category. Okay. All right, I think that's everything. I'm sure you'll figure it all. You'll figure it all out quick. All right. Don't be shy. Try everything out. Oh, cool! I didn't know that. Okay, so let's go to let's check out our photo decks. What do we have here? How many how many Pokemon are in the photo decks? I haven't like. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I go into spoilers, I go to Cerebi.net as soon as they start covering a Pokemon game, and I see how many Pokemon there are, what you can do. For some reason, I did not do that with new Pokemon Snap. I've stayed away from any spoilers, I haven't watched anyone else play it, so I'm um, I'm super like excited to find this all out on my own. Show me a photo of a Pokemon... T Wait, show me a photo of a Pokemon to make a page for it. On that page, you can move your pointer over the Pokemon and press A to see its movement and hear its cry. If you discover it has other forms, you'll be able to see those here, too. Oh, other forms? Okay, so there's Meganium. How do I, how do, I do the... Oh, oh, I moved the pointer. <laughs> Does it only have one? Oh, yeah, it only has one pose. So, Score Bunny. Oh, look at Score Bunny. How come I doesn't? I don't have a. There's no description. I guess once we get all four pages of the photo like thingy right here, we'll have them. We'll have the, the description and everything of it. Okay, so there's Grookey, Chimp, number three, number two, number twenty-one. Oh, we can sort them by date and time. Now let's score them. Uh, set them by number. Photos register thirty-four. Pokemon register thirty-four or twenty-five. I can't count. No gender difference. No gender difference. Four, five. Bufflon is number five. That's interesting. Pidgeot. No gender difference, but we haven't seen a female. There is a gender difference with Tangrowth. I know that for sure. Wow, look at all these guys. Oh, Pikachu's all the way at the end. Nice and calm. There's Meganium. Okay. Ooh, Red Flower. Are we going to be able to see the other flowers too? That's a male because it's got the yellow whiskers. I'm just gonna go through here and uh, highlight them all. Oh, do I have to actually like click on the photo? Oh, I do. I have to click on the photo. I'll do this off camera because it's gonna. My OCD is killing me. Can I can I clear them all out? Ah, forget it. Uh, let's see map. What's the map do? Here you can view information about courses you've researched. Pokemon and objects of interest are marked on the maps so you can look back on your trips. So let's go to the nature park. Uh, by day. Oh, that's cool. You get to see where all the Pokemon are. Okay. Pretty nice. That's cool. Then we have for nighttime. There's a score bunny here. There's a score bunny over there. So it's cool to know that they're not the same score bunnies. And then at night, we got big old Meganium. Cool. Alright. Let's go back and... Uh, oh, you can save them to the Switch album? I didn't know that. I wonder if you can share these on Twitter. Or if, if you have to save them to the Switch album in order to share them on Twitter. Okay. Uh, we'll check out my space later. Let's do another... Let's do another research task. Let's see what he has to say. Now that you're a full-fledged team member, I have something for you that'll come in <gasps> Apple! As for the explanation, would you do the honors, Rita? Yes, sir. But is it just me, 
Or have you been getting me to do a lot more of your work lately, Professor? Oh well, time to explain like the great assistant I am. This is, this is a fluff fruit. They grow here in the lentil region. It's an apple. They're sweet and tasty, and they make a great snack for Pokemon. They may look like regular apple. It's because they are. But they're way lighter and softer. You'll probably make a Pokemon's day if you toss it one of these. Right. Let's get you some practice. Oh no, there's like a tutorial for everything. And I know I can skip them, but I feel like we should just do them. I'll skip them if I do another playthrough. Oh, look at Pikachu again. You can throw a fluff fruit by pressing B. Give it a try. Alright. Oh, I just... I can't move it. I can just throw it. I love snacks. Oh. Okay, so now I can move it. Alright, so I can throw it. Wow, right throw it right there. I want to bonk him on the head. <laughs> Look at all the apples. Boink. Boink. Oh, why can't I take a picture? Okay. Well, we can still bonk him on the head with the apples. That's going to be fun to do. Pretty easy, right? I think it's really all you should know. So I guess now we just have to wait until the professor gives us the green light to move on. Oh, I've got an idea. You should try testing out Fluffroo and taking some more photos in the meantime. The professor says there are all kinds of ways of using it. Hello. Finished explaining, I see. Thanks, Rita. Mm -hmm. I've got one more thing to tell you about that for now. I thought it would be handy to have a quick way to share what you see and learn in the field. Are you too familiar with Len Talk? No. It rings a bell, I think. It's a communication tool folks here use in Lentil. Folks here in Lentil use. I can't read. Rita, let's say you notice something exciting in the field. You can send a photo and a description over Lens Talk. I can use it to send things I notice on the monitor too. That sounds super fun. Look for Lens Talk messages in the top right of the screen at the research camp and elsewhere. They ought to help. Cool. Good to know. Uh, oh, look! Press Y, it's up here. Uh, Munchy Murkrow, a bit unusual when you hit a funny bone. Ha! <laughs> oh, these are actual people's photos! A bit unusual. Ah, look at that, that's cute. I will definitely give that a sweet. Nice. Munchy Murkrow. In the comfort and safety of its own territory, even the warrior's Pokemon will let its guard down for a tasty, tea to tasty fluff fruit. Cool. All right, so let's go. Let's see. Hello. I'm going to go during the night again because we've only done that once. And we've done the fruit. Um, or we've done the day one twice. So let's do night. Let's do night one more time. Oh, and then uh, as I was saying earlier, I wonder if Charizard's in the game. That's why I'm saying like I didn't spoil anything. I want I don't know if Charmander or Charizard are in the game, but I sure hope they are. Oh, there was a Pidgeot that was just flying by. Look at this. Oh, they ran away. Oh, what the heck? I'm um, I'm missing it. Oh, Pichu, come back. Oh, no, Tangrowth is out here. Okay. There's a lot of differences going on. Did he eat the apple? I didn't see. Or did I just wake it up? Okay. What do we have here? What do we have? Oh, look. Glow Caterpie. Oh, they're all coming. Oh, sorry, Caterpie. Oops. Ooh, that was nice. 
Okay, what do I need to scan? What can I scan? What can I scan? Uh, oh yeah, that fruit. And then, oh, I wonder if I throw... Apple? 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 Dang it. It no work. The mound doesn't want the apple. Look at the little bee doof. They're going in a little line. Can I throw that? Can I chuck it at the Dodrio? Dang it, I missed. I don't know what to take a photo of. Well, it's running away. Where's it going? Well, that's a good photo of Pidgeot. Can I bonk it? Can I bonk it on the head? No, bonk it on the head. No, right here. Right here. No. Ah, oh, I missed it. It's eating the actual apple. I didn't know it was going to eat the apple. Oh, we're going a different route. Oh, what the heck? Sleeping Magikarp. Bonk it with the apple. Nice. <laughs> um, oh, wait. What is that? That's a, Sil that's a Sylveon. Oh, what the heck? I should have bonked the, the Hoot Hoot. Bonk. Bonk it. Bonk it on the head. Ah, oh, it didn't work. I didn't get a I didn't get a different pose for it. Okay, nothing to scan here. Oh wait. Something to scan there, I guess. Oh, it's just telling me that the route's coming to an end. I think that's what it is. Oh, he was happy. Oh, that's a good photo right there. Definitely got to keep that one. Um, Combi. Anyone want a fruit, Combi? Combi, you want a fruit? Oh, they're eating. I can't see them, though, because of the flowers. What if I wake up, uh, Square Bunny? Oh, dang it, I missed it. Okay. Well, that was interesting. Nothing like chucking fruit at Pokemon and disturbing them while you sleep. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got. Welcome back. Make any new discoveries? I think so. I think so. Square Bunny. Okay, let's see. Ooh, this one's a three. Uh, do, what about the, the waking up? Oh... I don't... So that's for one. That's a one star. Oh, no. This is terrible. I don't know which one to pick. That one's like way off-centered. I guess I'll pick this one. Just because it's a different one. Uh, Bouffalon, what do we have? That's a two star. That's a two star. Yeah, no. Pidgeot, we have a two star right there. That's a one star. I guess we'll do the two star. We gotta get experience where we can. Ooh, this one's jumping, but I think this one's better. Caterpie, what do we have? One star. That's a three star. That's a two star. Uh, we'll go with the two star. It's not centered at all, though. That's the only downside. Oh, he's sleeping. Torterra, what do we have? Torterra, four star. What? Okay, I guess we'll get the four star so we can have it in there. Um, we don't have a one star for it. I guess we'll do this one right here. Dodrio, that's a three star. Oh no! Oh well, we'll go do that one. We can do that one. Um, that's a two star. This one's a three star right here. Heck yes, I'll take it. Sleeping Sylveon. 
Then Magikarp. He's like, what? Okay, cool. You haven't selected a photo from every folder. Yeah, that's fine. Not all of them are worth getting evaluated. Or should I get them evaluated because I get those scores added? Oh, I think that's what I need to do. Okay, let's see how Score Bunny is. I'm not... Uh, uh, I'm not too certain about this one. Oh, wow. Yay! Okay, that was cool. Pidgeot. So this is two-star. What is it doing? In its natural state. Perfect timing. Oh, cool! I can't believe that actually worked. You can't even see the Pidgeot's face because of the Buffalon's tail, but whatever. I'll take it. Uh, nice shot. Yeah! Three, <laughs> three diamonds again! Tangrowth is stupid easy to get photos of. Uh, let's see. It's been bought by something. Cool. Oh! Dang it! If it would have gotten the direction a little bit better and the placement, it would have been perfect. Okay, Magikarp. It looks like it was bought by something. The pose is a thousand? What? Perfect. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, this one I'll probably get like like silver on it. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, my tummy. Silver. Yay! Hoot hoot! Okay, so it's been bought by something. Oh, you can see both its legs. That's what the rare side is. Okay. Oh, cool. Diamond. Yes, yes, yes. We just need a regular one one star diamond of it. Uh, what is it doing? I don't get what's so different about it. Oh, this one's diamond also. Heck yes. Combi. Uh, this one's silver. Got to be silver. Oh, it's bronze. Oh, it's terrible. Torterra. I don't know. What is is this? Torterra. It's a four star photo. Hard to tell exactly what it's doing. Ooh! Oh, that's poopy. <laughs> Such a poopy score. All right, that's okay though. That's why we're practicing. That's why we're doing this. Expedition points. How much did we get? Thirty-six thousand. Dang! If we keep this up, we'll learn all kinds of new things. So what do we get? Dam completed. You discovered a route that leads over Bidu Dam in Floro Nature Park. You received the title Dam completed. Oh, we can retry the same course again? Okay, well, we'll save the photos. Um, I want to save... Uh, that hoot hoot. Oh, Square Bunny, you definitely want to save. That's a hit. Um, I like this Magikarp one. It's just like, hey! Leave me alone. Stop waking me up. And then... Yeah, that's it. Well, oh, no! No, I don't want to save it. Oh, I can just press the plus button to save it. Oh, I didn't know that. I did not know that at all. Woot. Okay. And we'll return to camp. We'll see what they have to say. I think you... I wonder if we have to keep playing the same courses until they give us, um... Until we reach a certain level. We'll see. We'll see what they say. Oh, Evie. Oh, it's Todd! Hey, professor, it's been a while. Oh, no way! That's freaking cool! Now is he your son? <laughs> they look they look so alike. This is Todd. He's a professional Pokemon photographer. His work takes him all over the world. Hi. Are you the one who caught an Illumina Pokemon on camera? Way to go! That's a big deal. So? Todd, did you bring what I asked you to? I sure did. You're a lifesaver. Now we'll finally be able to set out. Huh? Is this guy a friend of yours, Professor? Mm -hmm. An old travel companion, to be precise. He's been helping me plan our big survey of lentil, too. Huh. No kidding. Whoa. Ooh. Is that the new pod you put together? Reminds me of the good old days. Okay. Ah, nostalgia! But hey, let me see those Illumina Pokemon photos. Really got an eye for this. Hmm. Hey! Huh? Back off, Kane. Get your own mentor. What the heck? <laughs> Who's this kid? What the hell do you think you are? So you're the new teammate, huh? I'm Phil, Todd's number one student. Okay, now. 
Easy there, Phil. I'm tempted to take part in this big ecological survey myself, but I have another idea. How about I send Phil with you instead? Yep. Aww. I'm fine with that if you are, Todd. Awesome! Yes, awesome! You can be my stand-in for now, but don't forget, I'll need that badge back eventually. Aww, Aww fine. But if I take a super cool photo, I get to keep the badge. And, uh... So, yeah. What's an ecological survey anyways? Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Now that you're all here, we can get started. Ooh. Listen up, team. I'm going to give you a breakdown of the survey. Whoa. We're going island hopping? Now then. This is Florio Island. Our home, sweet home. The circled spot right here is our camp. Also. But this survey will take us past these shores. Mm. Oh my god, I cannot say those names. Uh, and this will be our first destination. Hey, so. Why are we starting there? I've detected a spot there with high energy readings. The Neo One should be able to teleport to it. This island showed up in the travel log, right? Mm -hmm. It certainly did. Captain Vince wrote that he saw a glowing Pokemon there too, in fact. Come on. Ooh, sorry, I had to yawn. Come on already, let's get this survey thing started. Fair enough. Anyway. Enjoy your first in a century adventure into the wilds of Lentil. Okay, cool. All right, so I think we're going to end things off here. Uh, thank you guys so much. I'm super excited. I'm so glad Todd is in this game. I was like, they have to, like, men if they mentioned him earlier with the Neo one, uh, they have to, like, freaking, like, he's probably going to be at the end of the game, but he's actually here. That's so freaking cool. So, um, make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed the episode. It really helps out a lot. Comment below if you're playing this game. How excited were you when you saw Todd for the first time? Um, and uh, make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell so you're notified when the next episode of New Pokemon Snap comes out on the channel. And uh, until then, guys, thank you again for joining me. I really appreciate it. I hope you all take care. Have a fantastic day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.